day to get your shrimp. One thing you want to do is go to the place where your shrimp are coming into. They usually are coming in air freight, either Federal Express or UPS. Know your driver, know where you can pick your shrimp up at, perhaps a distribution center, to find out what time you can go again the first time available. You don't want them riding around all day in a hot or cold bouncing truck. When you receive your shrimp, you want to inspect the box closely for mostly water damage. You see any leakage on the outside, water dripping through. You want to be sure to open up the box when you receive it from the driver or at the distribution point and check, make sure the bags haven't been punctured or broken and that the shrimp are still in good condition there. If they have been shipping damage done, then you usually get the shipping paid for when you get your next batch of shrimp. Once you get your shrimp to your farm, you want to open up your boxes and pull out the bags holding, containing the post larvae. Hold them up to the light and look and observe the post larvae or PLs to make sure they're up and swimming around in the water column. If they're laying in piles on the bottom or if they're all white, there's been a problem with the shipment and you need to report that to your supplier. These post larvae look very good. Next, with the bag remaining closed, you want to get the temperature of the water in the bag. Take your temperature probe and place it between the bottom of the bag or the bottom of the bag and the bottom of the cooler. Let it set in there until the temperature stabilizes and that should give you an accurate reading. If the temperature differs more than two degrees Celsius, you want to float the bags still closed in your nursery tanks until the temperatures equal up or get within at least two degrees Celsius. Trying to maintain the bags in an upright position when they're floating in the tank. Shrimp can get caught up in the corners of the bag and be hard to get out in the end. Once the temperature is even, open the bag and pour the contents into a clean five gallon bucket. Place an air stone into the bu bucket with light bubbling. Take a beaker of nursery water and add it to the bucket and let this mix and observe the post water.
In a couple minutes, if the shrimp are still behaving normally, that is up and swimming around. Add two more cups, beakers, of the nursery water and continue to observe with the elves. Continue to add nursery tank water every couple of minutes while observing the PLs to make sure they're behaving normally until the bucket gets almost completely full and you've doubled the volume that they came in. nearly full. You want to get a bigger water straight out of your nursery and capture a few of your PLs from the bucket. And place them directly in the nursery water. Then observe them for two to five minutes, making sure they're behaving normally. This is just about like just dumping all of them, dumping them directly into the water. So this will give you an idea of how the acclimation is going and whether you can transfer them all over. Do a test with about a half a dozen to 20 shrimp and just to see how it goes before you do all the shrimp. The PLs look good, so we're going to go ahead and transfer all the PLs to their respective nursery tanks. Once you get your bucket down to a manageable level, you can take the whole bucket, the remaining of it, take it to the nursery tank, very gently lay the bucket over, kind of letting the shrimp PL just swim out of the bucket gently into their new home. After you got your post larvae in their nursery tanks for a little bit, you want to make sure you get your air stones adjusted so they're not too high and not too low keeping all, everything stirred up on the bottom, but not taking the shrimp for a ride. And you give them their first feed, either a little bit of live brine shrimp, or we have some easy artemia and ready reserve mixed up here. And these guys haven't eaten for a day, they've been in a bag, so they're gonna be nice and hungry for their first feeding of their new life.